Welcome back, family. So I'm doing my AM devotion, and I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving nature. The closer you get to the Most High, you will change. He will change you into the person that he created you to be slowly, but also beautifully, okay? I was not a nature person before I started worshiping the Most High in Spirit and Truth. And it wasn't until I elevated in relationship with him that I started to really love nature. Because I couldn't stand nature. I ain't like bugs, none of that. Ugh. Ugh. It's too hot in the summer. It's too cold in the winter type chick. Like, <laughs> she was not a nature person. But anyway, the closer I get to him, the more I love nature. Uh, there are other things that you will notice on your path of getting closer to your father that will help you to see that you're on the right track, that you're growing in him. Like if you are quick tempered and somebody cut you off in traffic and you don't retaliate and you actually act like the most high <laughs> has told you to act in scripture. That's a sign. And that's in any situation, not just on the road. Like, any situation where somebody irritates you, how do you handle it? If you handle it with peace, if you handle it with contentment, if you handle it with Godfidence, that's a clear sign that you're getting closer to him. When you have trials and tests and situations, do you react or do you pray? Do you seek his face when things are going wrong and right or do you only seek his face when things are going wrong those are just you know a few signs how do you dress how do you represent the king when you go out because it's important you don't have to have tassels and fringes and all this stuff on but you do need to be presentable you do need to have uh your cleavage covered you do need to have uh brothers you do need to have on um some pants that don't reveal okay like uh, that lingerie that some of y'all don't seem to uh, be familiar with. The gray sweatpants, the light sweatpants, if you're well endowed, any sweatpants, okay? I'm just being honest. The Most High is very serious about his children being, uh, or excuse me, representing him in proper fashion. And a lot of us, I'm just saying us because I'm part of y'all and we all his children, but... Uh, <laughs> cover it up <laughs> it ain't everybody business what you got okay it's only for your spouse that's why he foreordains a spouse for us before we are even created or before we're even born okay you you, you got to understand how your father works but um these are just some signs and and some tidbits of information that the holy spirit is throwing in there on top of that okay because that wasn't in my notes um one um quote that I want to read to y'all. I think it's really interesting, really cool. It says, just as courage is faith in good, so discouragement is faith in evil. And while courage opens the door for good, or to good, excuse me, discourage it, discouragement opens it to evil. I'm going to read it one more time because I tripped up over that thing. Just as courage is faith in good, so discouragement is faith in evil. And while courage opens the door to good, discouragement opens it to evil. Now I read that, I was like, oh, that's very interesting. I want y'all to think about that today. And I'm gonna give y'all a scripture too. From This is from my devotional book. I love this book. Um, Behold, this is Isaiah chapter 12, verse two. Behold, God is my salvation, or the Most High is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. A lot of us are going through seasons and trials where he's pruning us and he's preparing us for what we have uh, sown, the seeds that we have sown. When you sow good seed, you get a beautiful, bountiful harvest. Um, and the crazy thing is, once you have sown those seeds and you receive the harvest spiritually he's going to test you to make sure that you can handle the harvest in, in the natural realm so you have to be on point stay in him stay faithful stay true to him um stay in the commandments and uh let him guide you 
don't overwhelm yourself okay guys just move with the spirit he will tell you what to do do not be dismayed do not see what's in front of you and let it deter you, you got to be you got to, you got to do you got don't look at what's in front of you because it'll totally deter you from everything and that's what the enemy is trying to do get us to be focused on everything in front of us all the trials everything we're going through because as long as you focus on the trials you won't focus on the promise which is coming after the trials and the enemy knows this but we tend to forget once you've been through a couple of trials with the most high you know how the process works you sow a seed you plant it it's time it harvests over time and then you have to go through that trial to make sure so he can make sure that you are faithful and worthy now once he trusts you he'll still put you through trials because he grows you you know that's that that's that tough love that the most high gives us and we have to be grateful for that thing because if he didn't give it to us we wouldn't grow you always grow in the most high that's how you know when it when scripture states you know them by their fruits if they are not progressing if they're not moving forward if they're not changing if they're extremely overweight and they're not trying to do nothing about it if they you know have a stinky attitude whatever the case you will know them by their fruits because they don't have the proper kingdom aura okay even if it's just starting off with their personality most of his children are very joyful most of the time we might fall a little bit we might be going through some stuff but we still gonna smile at you we still gonna speak we still gonna we still gonna be kingdom okay guys peace and blessings